It's October, and that means it's spooky time. Granted, this entire year's been pretty spooky, but that was bad spooky. This is good spooky. Halloween is probably my favorite holiday, so this week I made some spooky Halloween-themed stinger transitions for y'all to use on your live streams, as sort of an easy way to get in the Halloween spirit. They are 100% completely free to use, with no strings attached, and they look something like this. There are even a few different color variations on some of them, and I've included the Blender files if you want to tear them apart yourself and learn how I did things. All you have to do is download the files from the Discord, link in the description, and follow along if you don't know how to add custom stingers in OBS. And if you enjoy these kinds of free graphics, the absolute best way to show your support for the channel is to hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell. It's completely free, it really helps me out, and most importantly, it lets you know when there's cool new stuff to check out on the channel. I'm also live at least every Friday at twitch.tv slash oraclefishlive if you want to come hang out. That being said, let's get started. My name is Chris Folia. I'm your Stream Scholar. Welcome to Stream School. So adding a custom stinger transition to OBS Studio is very easy to do. All you have to do is come down here where it says Scene Transitions, click the drop down, and you might have to scroll down a bit until you find Add Stinger. You're going to want to click that. And when the naming dialog comes up, you can name this whatever you want. I'm personally going to name mine Candy Corn Stinger because that's the one that I want to use. Then I'm going to hit OK. And when this window comes up, you can hit Browse and search for the Stinger transition that you downloaded and you want to use. Uh, I'm personally using the Candy Corn one. And you'll notice that it says 1500 ms at the front of the file name. That is the transition point where the scene actually swaps for the next scene. And I put that at the front of the file name just to make it as easy to find for you all as possible. So if I double click candy corn and hit preview transition, you'll notice that the scene swaps and then the animation plays, which is not at all what we want. And that's because we haven't set the transition point yet. So if we go to the transition point and set that to 1500, as stated in the file name, then hit preview transition, you'll notice that the scene swaps when the entire screen is covered with candy corn, which is exactly what we want. So hit OK, and you'll notice now that every single scene uses the candy corn stinger. And that will apply as long as the candy corn stinger is selected under this drop down right here. But Let's say you want some variety here. Let's say you want to switch it up a bit and have a different stinger transition for each scene. That's also pretty easy to do. So let's go ahead and add a couple more stinger transitions to the drop down. So hit the drop down, go to add stinger. This time I'm going to use the ghost stinger. Hit OK. Go to browse, find the ghost stinger. And this one says 1250 milliseconds for the transition point. So I'm going to double click that go to the transition point and set that to 1250. Hit preview transition, make sure everything works nice and cleanly. Hit OK. And then let's add one more. Go to add stinger. I'll add the pumpkin stinger. Hit OK. Go to browse, find the pumpkin stinger, and notice that this one says 1000 milliseconds. Double click it, set the transition point to 1000 milliseconds. Hit preview transition, the pumpkin comes on, and now we're on the next scene. Hit OK. So as long as the pumpkin stinger transition is selected on this drop down right here, every single scene will use the pumpkin stinger transition. And that's not what we want. We want each scene to use a unique transition. So for that, we can do something called a transition override. So if I right click my face cam scene, go to transition override, and set this one to candy corn stinger, then go to the example scene camera scene, then right click that one, go to transition override and set that to ghost stinger. Now you'll notice if I click the face cam scene, that uses the candy corn stinger as we set in the transition override. And this scene now uses the ghost stinger. And now because the pumpkin stinger is selected right here, every other scene will use the pumpkin stinger. And you can do individual unique transition overrides for every scene if you really want to. 
Um, but anyway, that is how you add a custom stinger transition in OBS Studio. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoy the free stingers. If you have any questions or just want to come hang out with an incredible community, I'm live at least every Friday at twitch.tv slash oraclefishlive. And if you found this video useful, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below the video and ring the bell for new content every single week. Until next time, my name is Chris Folia. I'm your stream scholar and class is out.